Hi, my name is Alessandra Baez, and I'm going to be doing the IV fluid and medication administration today with a piggyback. I'm going to start by knocking and providing privacy for the patient by closing the door and shutting the curtain. I'm then going to perform hand hygiene and put on my gloves. I'm going to check the patient using two patient identifiers, such as name and date of birth. And then I'm going to verify in the MAR that I have the correct fluids, which is the sodium chloride and the amoxicillin. And we're going to verify um, the six rights of medication administration, which is right time, right dose, right patient, right route, right medication, and then, of course, um, right documentation. So once we verify those and we verified the patient's allergies in the MAR, and this patient has no allergies, and this is the correct patient and the correct um, medications as we've compared it to the MAR for a second time, I'm then going to start by um, identifying my primary tubing parts. So we're going to all this. So we've got our spike our drip chamber, our roller clamp, and then over here we've got the Y port, the Y site, and that's where our piggyback is going to go into. And then we've got the adapter end that's going to go into the patient's IV access. So now that we know all those parts are, I'm going to um, spike my bag. I'm gonna make sure to maintain sterility on this spike and on my bag. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my label on my tubing so that it's labeled. This is going to be for our saline, and it says that. So once we've got our bag, I'm going to kind of maintain sterility. So once I've got my bag, And then once we're going to maintain sterility, I'm going to pull the top off of this one as well. And we're going to make sure that our roller clamp is in the on position so that the tubing is clamped so it doesn't go everywhere. And then we're going to spike our back. So once we've got our spike, we can squeeze it to about half way full. So now that we've got it half way full, we are going to calculate our drip rate. So our order is for 150 mils per hour. So I'm going to take, to do my math with that, I'm going to do 150 mils an hour times one hour over 60 minutes times our drip factor of 15. Oh, what is it? It's 15 right there. So once, now that we've done that math, we get about 37.5 drops per minute. And we're going to round that up to 38 drops per minute. And just to make the math a little bit easier, we're going to divide that by 4, which is about 10 drops per 15 seconds. And then I'm going to count my drops for a full minute to make sure I get 38 drops a minute. We're going to undo this roll slowly until I get to my 10 drops for 15 seconds, and then I'll count it for a full minute. Now that I've got 10 drops per 15 seconds, I'm going to count it for a full minute and make sure I get 38 drops. And while we're counting, so 
Okay, so I've got my 38 drops per minute. Um, now that I've got that drip rate calculated, I'm going to make sure that this tubing is primed all the way through and make sure that there's no bubbles in this tubing. So now that our bubbles are clearing out of our tubing, we can go ahead and that we're going to um do our piggyback medication so the um the math for the piggyback medication is going to be 250 milligrams per 100 milliliters over 15 minutes so we've got our piggyback with our label here i'm gonna pull my label off and um, this is the thing to help us hang the other bag lower. So I've got my piggyback tubing here, and this one does not have a Y site, and that's how I know it's my piggyback tubing. Um, so the math for that tubing, sorry, is 100 mils over 15 minutes. So we're going to times that by our 15 drop factor, which is going to be 100 drops per minute. So 100 drops per minute is 25 drops per 15 seconds. So we're going to get it to about 25 drops per second, and then we're going to count again for a full minute. So I'm going to switch this roller clamp into the on position. Pull my cap off here while maintaining sterility. Um, And in order to connect this to my Y site, I'm going to um, one make sure that the naphthalene is compatible with this sodium chloride, which it is, and then we're going to verify the allergies again and double check our medications in the mar. So now that we've got that um, verified, we're going to um, take an alcohol wipe and we're going to um, we're going to clean out this Y site for 15 seconds. We're going to scrub this Y site. to allow it to air dry. We've got the feedback as well as um, this main infusion so that this is not getting confused for us. So now that we've let that air dry, we can take our thermometer while maintaining sterility. Take this cap off, and we're going to put it in to our light. So we've calculated that we need 25 drops per minute, and or 25 drops per 15 seconds, which is 100 drops per minute. So we're going. To roll our roller clamp so we get 25 drops per 15 seconds, and then we'll count it for a full minute. per 15 seconds we're going to count it for a full minute again
So I've got 100 drops per minute for fusion, and that is running. And then we would take this, clean the patient's IV connector access with an alcohol swab for 15 seconds, and then let it air dry, and then connect this while maintaining sterility with this access site or adapter end. And we would that would be after we have verified allergies and verified it in the MAR and verified our six rights of medication. Once we've got this running, we can wash our hands, dispose of our gloves, and document that the medication has been given.